Now, let's look at types 2 and 3, which are around finding the flaw in the reasoning. In type 2, remember, the question explicitly requires you to find the error in the reasoning deployed in the argument. You either have an argument followed by this question stem, a serious flaw in the reasoning is that, or you have a dialogue followed by this question stem. Second person's response to the first person is flawed in that. And then the answer choices. In type 3, the question implicitly requires you to identify the error in reasoning deployed. Technically, the question is a general CR question type. Assumptions, strengthening, weakening, explanation, evaluation, etc. However, at the core of it, to solve the general question type, you need to be able to identify the flaw in the reasoning. And for that, you need to understand what are the types of flawed reasonings. In all, we will be discussing 14 different types of flawed reasonings. Here is an exhaustive list of the types of flawed reasonings. It's a list of 14 different flaws. You don't have to remember these flaws. You may just want to pause the video and accustom yourself with the list. But remembering these terms is not needed at all. It is just about understanding the underlying concepts. This was the concept, friends. GMAT shots are deliberately kept brief. For an elaborate explanation, please watch the Stage 1 conceptual videos in our program. Thanks for watching.